Steve asks, I'm thinking about writing my first book, and I've been told that I should write a proposal and shop it to several publishers before writing the book, the premise being that getting the third-party validation from a publisher lends credibility, and it's worth going through the process and the delayed time to market for the potential of securing a deal. Um, what is your view of that? Well, frankly, I'm not sure that's the best way to go, um, and here's why. Yes, if a publisher is interested, you know you could have a deal. That's great. But the steps that it takes to get to that point could be long and difficult, and you could be losing a lot of money in the process. Here's why. Uh, first of all, publishers don't look at manuscripts from unsolicited people like you and me. They want to vet proposals and queries before they even look at anything. So they rely on agents. So the agents are the first people who make the cut. So you're sending your proposal or your query letter to an agent, and they get hundreds of these proposals every day. You can go to their websites. They have forms to fill out. They have procedures that they want you to follow. And if you don't follow their procedures exactly, they throw you out because they have too much to choose from already, and they can only represent so many people. Uh, I'm not telling you anything you don't know because this is the way that every industry works for every job opening you've ever thought of or <laughs> have been in a position to hire someone for. Uh, so it's no different in the literary business. So you're competing against hundreds of other people who are trying to get the attention of an agent. Now, let's say you do get the attention of the agent. They think it's a pretty good idea. Well, they're going to want to shop it around to the publishers, and that's going to take some time. So you have the time invested in trying to get an agent. You have the time invested in the agent trying to get the attention of their publishers. And they are friends with the publishers. You know, they, they do open doors. You know, if an agent believes in a project, then, yeah, that's cool. But what's happening in the meantime? You're losing money. You're also losing enthusiasm for your project because you're saying no one is interested in this. Well, you know, during the summer, agents aren't really busy. You know, they, they're taking the summer, they're, they're taking three-day weekends right now. They're not working on Fridays. They're, they're at the Hamptons. So uh, you might be beating yourself up saying no one's returning my, my, my proposal queries uh, when in reality they're out at the Hamptons uh, drinking Mai Tais so, and not even thinking about you. So uh, I think it's important for people to write their books and see what happens and use their book as a marketing tool and take accountability for their own uh, progress. Uh, if at the same time, you can send queries out to agents and if someone bites, that's great. But the first thing they're going to ask is, how many words have you written? Is the book done? And if you say, well, I haven't started it yet. I was waiting for someone to bite. Well, you know, that's going to tell them something. If you say, well, it's a 50,000-word book and I'm 95% done, that tells them something too. So what position do you want to be in? So that's my answer.